Yep, yep. Starting, okay. Yes, I'm here. What? Do you, oh, are, do we, are we on? We're on. Oh. Cool, cool. Excellent. So, yes. Welcome, everybody, to the Shader Showdown final that is happening right now at Outline Online. And we are here uh, on the stream uh, with lovely Hannibal and Evil, yesterday's winners of the semifinals. Thank you all for voting. So, lovely Hannibal versus Evil will be the final. And we have Difty on the controls, and me and Super Rogue will be commenting. Yes. And, yes, and Bossman will be supplying the fat tunes for these lovely coders to to work on. So it's going to be a good party, yep, yep. I hope. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, when when everybody's ready, we'll get a countdown and we can go. I think so. Yep. I'd be happy to provide this countdown. So, if uh, first of all, uh, hi everybody, I'm DFT, and uh, if uh, lovely anybody and evil are ready, I'm going to start the countdown right now. I think they are so. Five. Oh, <laughs> shit, evil, evil just left. What's happening? Oh, and he's back and he left. <laughs> uh. One of his evil treats again. He is, yeah, he is the hooligan that he is, and he's back. But he's muted. But he's muted. <laughs> oh, he has no sound. <laughs> Maybe um, that's gonna, what we're gonna do. Uh, evil, we're gonna. I'm gonna type in the thing. Ambrose, there. Let's do this shit. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> So your set, five, four, three, two, one, go. Let's go. And we're off to the races. We're off to the races. Let's see how much I'm lagging behind. So what do Only you think you uh, our contestants are going to do, uh, Oki? Are they going for uh, ray marching again, like we saw yesterday? Or <laughs> maybe some 2D effects? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that we're going to see 2D. I think both these coders are uh, firm in the 3D. Uh, yeah, yeah. Probably the marching territory, but let's see. They might surprise us. It might, it's the final. Like it's, uh, it's not just uh, uh, any any kind of round. And as you can see, immediately this evil is uh, immediately yeah, turning yeah. everything off. Yeah, he's yep, turning yep. everything off. So we are evil. He's back to its uh, trace function. So you can see it again. He uh, gives uh, like two variables: uh, the ray origins and ray direction. So this uh, determines whatever the object will hit. So uh, this is just one of the basic helper functions you will see in a ray march uh, effect. So let's see. Uh, so so evil is definitely going for uh, ray marching. So maybe we can have a look at lovely Hannibal. Yeah, yesterday lovely Hannibal turned off. Yeah. Their code and was setting up for a long time. We don't know if that's his. Uh, uh, yeah, is this is his plan for today, or that he's turning it off now. Yeah. yeah that's... <laughs> So he's to uh, turn it off. Ah. So yeah, let's see what what these guy what these guys are gonna do setting up. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming out of this because yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it was interesting. Definitely really intense rounds yesterday. Absolutely, really good stuff. So in so, the meanwhile, uh, what uh, are you liking uh, outline online so far? Okay. Oh yes, it's. I will say it's absolutely amazing. Cool. And and I'm dead today. It's, yeah, <laughs> I've I've been on the outline train since Wednesday, ah, finishing yeah. my entries and, and, and yeah, drinking and, 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 and... You still have to get up tomorrow. Are you going uh, live on stream tonight again? Uh, no, no, no. no, yeah, no. I, I don't think I'm going to be in the bar session. I'll leave other people in the bar. I don't think I'm going to make it to 12. Yeah. To be honest, but I have to be really early um, tomorrow for the shot. So I know it's, yeah, it's yeah. a great party. Good oh, atmosphere. Cool. So, uh... so let's see. So we're back at Evo. He's uh, having more of a of a map function ready, just setting up some helper function. And also, lovely Hammerball was going for for uh, uh, ray marching with a similar map function, but he is also setting up some light stuff. 
critical. Yeah, this is those critical, this critical moments. The first few minutes of setting everything up. Let's see if uh, Evo will not disappoint me and actually make a, a moving lightning effect this time. Oh. Just to me, make me happy, maybe. Or anybody else watching. Or anybody movie. else. Anybody that's watching. Yep. And yeah, please vote. I mean, it's been... Uh, it's been... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a bit out of it. I would say, please vote. It's been a long ride. And these people have already been working hard yesterday, yeah. so... Please also give them do a not... shout out in the Twitch stream. Absolutely. And also do not forget to vote for the size coding competition, especially marquee design, Gameless Club. So yeah. So uh, what we actually can see, uh, so now Lovely Hannibal is already working on some light code. Still doing the 200 hex uh, angle thing. Uh, it's the same thing he did uh, yesterday in the stream. It's kind of nice. And you can see Evil here um, in the gray uh, setting up a rotating camera. This helps with uh, modeling a little later on. So this way you have a spinning camera around your objects and it really helps you to uh, visualize uh, your core object where you're gonna work uh, from. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. We have the first. We're in the first five minutes are slowly ticking away now. Yeah, yeah. And it's so always it's faster than you think. It's always faster than you think. So will you, do you think it's gonna have the first visuals up? Ah! Okay, my answer is already there. Evil has his uh, first sphere. Very much. On the ah, there we go. A sphere. The always trusted object. A sphere. Yep. It's a, a sort of a way to test if, uh, if, if your main loop is working. If, uh, maybe if your camera is working. If you start yeah, we have some visual people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wonder if, if, if Lofi Hannibal is just keeping the secrets on again for, for minutes and minutes and minutes. And only shows what he has at the end. I think uh, Lofi Hannibal is going for a multi-part multi effect again. So we can see he's working with different material IDs. So, and he also has a, a normalize function. So uh, we talked about this yesterday a bit on the stream. Uh, so once you uh, hit an object, you need to calculate a normal, which is like that. Uh, uh, determines at what angle you uh, hit the surface and it helps with uh, shading and, and lightening uh, your objects. Uh, but it takes a bit of code to set this up. So he already has this uh, light system set up and you can see a switch case for different material IDs. So this means different objects can have different materials and uh, have different behavior depending on the type of object you're hitting. So you can use this for multi-part or maybe use this to, to have completely different uh, looking objects. It's interesting to see uh, if he does multi-parts. Yesterday he combined yeah. this like reflecting river kind of effect. Yeah. With the light, so yeah, it's, it's going to be it's very it's going to be a tough one because yeah, yeah, it's. Uh... I think yesterday he took a lot, long time setting up a lot of helper functions. So uh, whenever he did have visuals on screen, it already looked nice out of the box. So every addition you make from there, uh, it will well almost instantly look look great. Let's you... see what this is. 18 yeah. minutes. You can see both our contestants using small function names, so just an S for sign or A for some, some clamp or map function. Uh, so S is set, stands for smooth steps, so they make it define. So every time they have to type this out, they don't have to type smooth step with all kinds of parameters all over again, they just use it, uh, one character. Be sure it's as optimized as possible because yeah, every no. keystroke matters because you only have a certain amount of time to do this. Exactly, so... so uh, very wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes it can help to just have, have short functions and it, this saves you time in the end. Uh, it's, it's, it's all about the optimization and about the use of time. You literally, and especially for the more versed shader coders like these, these two are as well, like you know that you have to do certain things on time. Yeah. Uh, and then, because uh, if you run out of time in the end, then yeah, you, you have to finish it and it might not be done on time. So. It's better to take some extra time in the beginning than maybe lose some polish time later. Yeah. yeah. So this time, actually, uh, this time around, I can see Evil is, is implementing a proper 
proper quote unquote camera system where you actually have a little more control over your exact camera movement so this can help in the end whereas uh, uh, lovely hannibal i think more directly uh, alters his ray direction so this is easier to set up takes less code to set up because mm. it takes a bit of setup code to get a proper camera working but uh, sometimes you need it sometimes you don't depends a bit on the effect so we'll have to see what it will come up with Yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's always this. And they both. I have the feeling they will both keep us waiting for a little bit. Yeah, well. So you can see uh, Evo already implemented some, some lighting. So whenever you have something uh, on screen, you can alter your lighting, uh, lighting model uh, with an ambient color, diffuse color, and, and the amount of spectra you will need. Sometimes something really glossy and spectra will look very nice. Yeah. With another effect, maybe. It's, it's not, uh, not the best approach, uh, but, but it's like a sphere, it's easy to see, to, to get your light uh, working properly before you start modeling uh, the rest of the yeah, so, oh, yeah, Evil is adding a cylinder function. So again, you can see a two letter uh, shorthand for cylinder, CY. And a rotate function. So you can see R2, Matt, cosine, sine. It's, uh, it's, uh, every shader coder has these, these nice, nifty, small uh, widgets in their pocket, which you can use. Uh, oh, here we go. And boom, it's, uh, yeah. It's a cylinder object. And so the, the way this works, you have one cylinder and then you cut out, you can do Boolean operations, yeah. you can cut out another cylinder, get a different shape and start modeling uh, from there. Well, and another cylinder. There we model. go. Yep. So how is this going to move? Yeah, we'll have to see. Will it be like a... Yeah, like a... It's a sort of a ring. Yeah, so, so yeah. like in the end, it can usually look very, very different, but you, you need a solid uh, base object to work from. I, re I remember last year at uh, Outline, we had uh, LJ, I think, he worked with some, some piston cylinder that turned into pistons, and then in the end, he twisted and put a circular motion on it, and you end up with something completely different. But you have to have these, these base shapes in your mind. And yeah. you, you know where you go. I do like the blue, the, the blue color that he uh, was already having in the shade. French touch. With, right. the, with the milder, calmer colors. <laughs> but maybe yeah. maybe he makes a giant slinky out of this. That would be nice. Yeah. I always say, whenever in doubt, use blue and orange. <laughs> but, yeah. As you did in your 128. I know it was yes, purple, yes I did as well. Yeah, purple, orange. Yeah, purple, blue. blue. Yeah, Those good, always work. Good colors, yeah. Anything but an MCGA pattern. So we're 15 minutes, 14 minutes now actually, so, uh, and I'm a bit behind. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's exciting, and the time is going by fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe we can check a little bit at Love Hannibal, because Evo is starting uh, his modeling. He already has his uh, light, uh, lighting setup. So this will just be modeling the base shape. Uh, and let's see if we can decipher something from Lovely Hannibal's code. So he is, instead of doing like a full camera function, he has like a smaller shorthand for camera. So he probably won't have as much control over his camera. We can see he's working with different objects, different materials. And he's doing some post uh, color uh, modification. So this will probably mean either Lovely Hannibal is not showing us what he's working on. Or he has something that is more planned out in advance. Yeah, yes, yeah, maybe, maybe he, yeah, he prepared, he thought out what he's gonna do, and it's all on the clock. So yeah, because other, otherwise things. you won't do any post material uh, correction before you actually have your shape. And here we go. That evil is now indeed yeah, rotating. Yeah. Yep. Some kind of Jetson-like alien city. Yep, so once you have your base shape, uh, like in this, this case, the, the ring, uh, you can add duplicates and then uh, rotate them around uh, and then start working from there. I do like that he already has a glow 
in his pocket. I'm always amazed at how quickly he has it just blow up on him. Yeah, like it's, I like the, the, the progression we see in shader coding. Yeah. And that affects people. We started doing this a few years ago, the, and then now the the progress the progress in the facts is incredible to see what people are doing to keep it fresh to have new ideas in the same techniques and this again like interesting to look at already and we have uh, 12 minutes left so let's see where, where this will go and indeed don't forget to vote the link is on the slide uh here party.uhu.cnorg and yeah. you can vote for your favorite shader showdowner and they might win a fan a fan account or a can of Fanta. Um, so yes, it's, it's. I'm wondering. I'm just wondering when Love Hannibal will, will pull up. I'll bring with you something soon because I do like when uh, when our contestants actually show what they're working on. Yeah. Uh, and not only for us, but also uh, there's an audience and uh, they want to see what's up. So, Lovely Hannibal, show us the goods. Show us the goods. Although well, I like the excitement as well of it, you have to wait, like it's kind of building up to the release to, uh, to show what you have and it can be a bigger wow moment if you haven't shown anything yet. This is also what we see if people show effects and you see them progress and sometimes you find the shader coders, they keep tinkering and they keep tinkering and they might actually break it and have something that was better beforehand. It's, it's interesting to see how that progresses as well. We can see a little uh, a bulging of the center cylinder. A little more organic, that's like we saw yesterday from Evil. But this time he's absolutely going for a more tech flavored. Uh, yeah, center. it's definitely more sci fi looking. And um, I'm looking forward to see where this will end up. Yeah. And it's a nice grey background, so this is probably the same uh, studio that we saw in the beginning. Just like oh, here we go. Fill it out a bit. We're trying to do pulsating uh, again with yep. the pulsating. It's a theme that he has this year. Yeah. You're wondering what's up with him. <laughs> pulsating snakes. And here we go. Ten minutes. Yeah, we're in the last yeah. ten minutes. Keep it. It's like yeah. Darn, the time is going fast. It's indeed, 25 minutes is not a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah, so we can definitely be seeing uh, that Lonely Hannibal is do uh, Lovely Hannibal's doing something behind closed doors because we can see him tweaking color settings. Yeah. Really looking forward to see what it is because, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. going to be strong, strong compo, I feel. I feel this is going to be good. And Bossman, yeah, yeah. of course, supplying the music for this, yeah. which is awesome. Looks like Thank you, Bossman, as well, yeah. to make this all happen. And again, people from all over Europe. Yeah, we, can see, do this. we can see uh, lovely Hannibal correcting his norm, uh, normalization function. Ah, yes. Correct. So yeah, so here he's finally getting some visuals for lovely Hannibal. Floor lovely class. Hannibal. <laughs> and I think he just set up a lot of uh, a light code, a lot of helper functions, and then uh, once the visuals are he will probably progress uh, a bit faster from here on. But then again, still eight and a half minutes on clock, so... It's also, it also is still eight minutes, so... You see the movement, the camera is, it's just like, uh, for, for evil, it's like his camera is steady. It, it's one of his trademark uh, things, yeah. but it's a really great way to model, because you can see... Uh, you can see, literally see from all angles that you're working on. Yeah. You just have a slow moving uh, camera and then once you have your base shape and, uh, and your lighting workout, you, you can start moving with the, the camera. So this looks nice. Like I said, when in doubt, always use blue and orange. Yeah, as he does, he heard you. <laughs> blue and orange. And here we go, we see something happening in the yeah. dark at lo a lovely animal screen. Yeah, set of Red, spheres. It seems to be spheres indeed. Yeah. It's 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 a modulo function, so it will repeat entity in, in one direction. And then he probably work a bit with angles. So we have to see. I think we're getting some cylinder, maybe in DNA shape kind of thing. So we'll have to see. What Evil 
making steady progress. Yeah. Maybe, maybe half, maybe, half maybe life. He is exactly doing uh, uh, DNA strains. Yeah. Bam! Yes! There we go. The moving lights. Thank you, Evil. <laughs> Thank and you. Here we go. We have in the dark. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Lovely Hannibal is on it. In Bam. green. Yeah. So this is the thing with helper functions. So if you have like a glow or a perfect lighting model, of, once you have these up and working, you can add like a facility. Oh, this is the nice. kind. Yeah, evil is like evil is knocking it out of the park at this moment. Yeah. Very nice. I think he's it's making uh, better steady progress than he did yesterday. Maybe a bit too much here with the lights, but that's also you have six and a half minutes left on the clock. Yeah. So there is still time to tweak and indeed DNA strands forming on Lovely Hannibal's screen. And again, uh, the reflection. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and there they go. There. Speeding up. Pop. And indeed the reflection on the floor and on the top. And, and also again, primary colors. We saw this yesterday yeah. from Lovely Hannibal as well. And he's really into his, his, his primary. Yeah, it's just red and the, the red and the green and it's like in a very dark. Yeah. Like, Overall, very dark shader. I here think we go. Asi and Adrian would be proud. <laughs> Five minutes and 50 seconds on my clock, so I'm a little bit behind, so it's probably a bit less, unfortunately, for them. Yeah, I'm at 540 right now. <laughs> I'm at 540 now. This is also the magic of online shader showdown, yeah. where time doesn't exist. Wow. So yes, I, I like how evil is, uh, is progressing. Yeah, like, so here we go, moving the camera a little bit. You can definitely see he's done this many, many a times on, uh, on his Twitch screen, which you guys should yeah. watch because if you want to learn about some shader coding, go check out Clopping, go check out Evil. These guys stream every week, I think, and uh, it's just awesome what they do. Yeah. Time. And we saw it's this really yesterday when we had an interview with Ryder. He, he said, like, I'm, uh, I watch Evo 3. Uh, I, I learned from uh, the master I'm now I'm able to compete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This can happen. Wow. Yeah, we have a lot of movement now. Evo is like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still, 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 still he's still running. Oh, yeah, look, he's... the animal's the colors. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm wondering, I'm wondering, like, four minutes and 40 seconds left. It's... Uh, it's time uh, to also get to a, a certain point in the yeah. showdown where you have to have certain things ready. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I like how the eagle is progressing. Yeah, love the animal as well. But I like the reflection there again. But it's ah, oh, it's four minutes. So, whew, love the animal. You have to. Yeah, it's gonna be rough, right? Indeed, love the animal yeah. has to really. Yeah. He's doing something else with movement. Yeah, so Evil is starting to work a bit on his camera work. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna probably advance in the last few minutes. But he's, yeah, he's in a really good position. He has he's really like, most position. of the done. Yeah. I think he has most of the modeling done. So now it's up to like adding a little uh, possess, as you like to say. Yes, and, possess. Uh, <laughs> and, and working on his uh, camera movement. But it's also, this is the dangerous moment where you can keep tweaking, you might break it. So it's also hard sometimes yeah. you have and you to walk away. If you, if you don't have exactly in your mind where your object is, you're going to get camera clipping. So that can yeah. be uh, a bitch. He's adding something now, I see. I yeah, see yeah, yeah. blue dots for lovely Hannibal. He is, he's... Yeah. And I see uh, Evil is now adding... Wow, he's yeah. adding... Like laser all kinds of All kinds of rotors and... Yeah. Oh, he's really taking his over the top. Yeah, he's in a comfortable position. He can still take yeah. it away if he wants to. Here we go, rotating light beams. Oh, fucking nice. Yeah, job. Evil had a plan. Evil came in with a plan, definitely. Yeah. I think. Love the Hannibal as well. I will say that um, it's, it's a soothing effect. I like it. I like it. The Jad too. It's stiff competition now for Evil. Like, you really have to your game the last two and a half minutes yeah. but there's still let's, time let's see, let's see if lovely animal gets some uh, camera work uh, done but like i said in the beginning he, he, he doesn't have as a flexible camera as uh, evil has so there we go get the feedback effect all of a sudden there we go bam 
Interesting. This is very wow. glitchy MTV 90 style visuals. Which you should like, I think. Yeah. And again, I'm not complaining. It's an incredible round again. <laughs> and Evil's going crazy with the laser beam. I like it. Hold on. Last two minutes. So now we have to... Now it's really like... Go or stop. Like when when is it done? When do you feel finished? And I haven't seen I've seen coders walk away before time, but not many. Just saying I'm done, I'm done, and I'm stopping. Not often, especially like uh, these 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 veterans say the showdown coders. They they are added to the very last second. Yeah, no, it's every every second is used as optimized as possible. Yeah. So where are we at on time? 125. 125. Yeah. So it's really close. It's the last minute is coming up. Yeah, this is. Uh, I, I will say that I like what's happening on a lovely Hannibal screen a lot as well. Like he's doing really yeah. interesting stuff with the feedback effects. And, uh, and we'll less it. one, less uh, than one minute left. Yes. Yep. Here we go. So the final minute, folks. So let's see, we're getting, finally getting some movement with Love Hannibal. Maybe okay, avant garde. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the filmy effect that he put I like the feedback effect, yes. Like yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's a really, that immediately enhances the effect as well. Yeah, so, yeah. But yeah, that's different. You never know which, which way people are going to vote. Are they going for the, like more classical very much approach like the Evil is doing here, which looks amazing, or are you just going for something more abstract as we see with Love Hannibal? Yeah, it's, it's a vote, vote with your heart. I think we're very, very, very close. I'll get some more material this is nice. We're almost at 10 seconds. 10, 10 seconds. seconds. 9, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3 2, 1. 1. And it's over. And it's over. Keyboard's down. So let's take a look at the, the effects in full screen for a little bit so we can enjoy them for a while. And, and, and take a good look. And do vote. Do you like so this? Is lovely, Hannibal. Let's take a look at it for a little bit longer. It's indeed. I will say the feedback effect is. It's really nice. It's like it's Very. like. Yeah, it's like it's being blocked by uh, strange. And, yeah. Yeah. Very interesting for a shader showdown effect. I'm. I'm. Yeah. I appreciate the different approach. Absolutely. To applaud everything. Absolutely. Let's take a look at uh, Evil's effect. Here we go, this is Evil. Yeah, from that first ball. Yeah. And then the, the cylinder to this. Yeah. Including the lighting. Stunning stuff. Yeah. This can be a risk if you prepare too, uh, too much. And uh, for a long time you have nothing on screen and you make a mistake, then, then you are spending your time correcting your mistake. Whether it's you have like early visuals, whenever your lighting is wrong or something with your movement, you can easily fix this. You can see what happens, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Evo definitely had a plan, he definitely knew when he came yeah. in what he wanted to do and I think he... Uh, stunning job. So yes, please vote and give it up for Lovely Hannibal and for Evo. Yep. Because they're both uh, incredible contestants, what a round. And give it up for, for the boss man of Rift for doing this, this soundtrack. Yeah, and, and give it up for, the, for that and, and everybody uh, involved, because it's amazing that we get to do this. Uh, yes. Frame. Shout out to Difty for, for running this. Shout out to Havoc for, for running this all remotely yeah. and in, in somewhat a paddock. Yep. And uh, I think are we, we're signing off, I guess. And yep. uh, shout out to you, both of you, with uh, your really yeah. clear expect uh, explanations. Uh, really, thank really you. great yeah. comment teaching. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely uh, Super Rogue, thank you for like very clear and explanatory comments. Much appreciated. And so, uh, thank you all. Are we doing interviews or are we signing off? I don't know. Are people up for interviews? Havak is typing. <laughs> We're gonna have an answer in a minute. I think I think we might be signing off because we're already a little bit behind. Yeah. Oh, and bros, yeah. I was just gonna say, um, I was just gonna say this is a total improv, bro. Oh, improv! Really? Nice.
Ah, <laughs> so I, I like how you went with the, with the blue and orange and uh, doing the lighting effect. Oh, uh, we can do interviews if uh, so. Yes, let's do so. Yes, evil total improv, very nice. Then you were were you lucky that it worked out. Thanks, Bruce. I think they both worked out well, huh? Wicked stuff, Bruce. Yeah. I think um, it was nice that you had some visuals early on. Does that help you when you're uh, creating something? When you have early visuals, you can correct uh, stuff, or? I think we're in a bit of a delay. Oh, I will just mute that. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, no, uh, what I did, you see, because this was a total improv, my idea was that I'd fix all my lighting before. Right. So I did my lighting first um, to make sure that then I don't have to go back and fix it. So I just did all the lighting on just a sphere, made yeah. sure it looks good. And then I went and did my geometry. This way I don't have to break what I'm doing in the geometry five minutes or like two minutes before the end and just go back and fix yeah. my lighting. It looks like it was a lot of smooth sailing for you. I think there was never a moment of panic, just steadily improving on what you have. Am I correct? Yeah, I also chose to do something rather simple in terms of geometry, like nothing too complex. This way I can't really fall over because I hadn't prepared the code. I thought right, I just do a bunch of sort of hollow tubes and then sort of spread it out and make a bit of a network. But I didn't want to do something like super complex because yeah. that's how you fall over, I guess. Yeah, it's only 25 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm always amazed about the uh, speed in which you have uh, Glow up and running. It seems like whenever I'm not paying attention for 10 seconds, uh, there, certainly there's uh, there's glow in your effect. Yeah, so this time as well, it's funny you should say that. This time is first time where actually, when I finished all my lighting, I, I was because I was down in the code and I have to mm -hmm. go back up, I thought, all right, while I'm down there, I'm going to add the glow variables so that when, when I do my geometry, I just push to the glow and boom, it goes straight yeah. away without me having to scroll back down and all this crap. Wow, cool. It's <laughs> all time. Yep. And do we have lovely Hannibal in the chat as well? Or not? It's okay if you're if 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 not, it's also fine. Then. Uh... Yep. So okay, so uh, let's sign off, lovely Hannibal. Thank you as well for your uh, participating. Yeah. And, and doing uh, a really and, and again doing a really interesting shader. I really appreciate the different yep. approach. Uh, absolutely. absolutely. So okay, we will see you uh, tomorrow then. Which you yeah, you see me maybe tonight in the bar I might show up and else uh, tomorrow morning the last shots for the last weekend. So enjoy the the last compos and the and, DJ and, sets. Enjoy the demo compo coming up. Absolutely. Do enjoy the demo compo. I hear it's good. Okay, cool. Um, so yes, thank you so much again yeah. to our Shader Showdown competitors, Lovely Hannibal and Evil and to Difty uh, for the managing, to Bossman for the yeah. incredible music. Right, uh, and everybody else we had uh, here. Yeah, right there, Moshe Salai as well for for helping out. And all the other shader coders that have been coding over the, the Bombas DJ set. We had Nusan and Yax. I, I like the shit Nusan yeah. uh, made. This was awesome. Yeah, it was really cool stuff in there. And uh, I think Black Hole was in there as well. So, yes, everybody. Yep. Okay, enjoy. bye. We're signing off. Cheers.